Flint, Michigan has no plans to change its lead pipes, which of course is contributing to the lead water anytime soon. Uh, in fact, it's so costly and it would take so much time to change that part of the infrastructure that the governor has decided to go in a different direction. So let me give you the details on that. Now, this is crazy because look, it's expensive, but the lead is, the lead levels are so high that people cannot drink that water. So People can't bathe in it. They can't drink in it. It's incredibly unsafe, and it does lead to a lot of health concerns. Now, Michigan Governor Rick Snyder said that replacing the pipes is not the city's short-term plans. Instead, officials say they are focused on supplying bottled water and filters to the city's affected residents, many of whom are below the poverty line, who have no clean water for activities like drinking, bathing, and cooking. It might not even be limited to Flint. There are other areas of Michigan that are also impacted by this based on water tests that have just been done. So they found out that cities including Grand Rapids, Detroit, Saginaw, and Holland um, are also experiencing high levels of lead in their water. Right. Uh, I like this quote by Snyder. He said, in terms of short term, it's a lot of work to take out pipes. Yeah, it is. Uh, okay, yeah, that's true. Uh, you might want to put some thought into it, though. Uh, it's not a lot of work to poison the kids. Uh, it's a lot of work to clean up the pipes. What a pain in the ass. Now, look, to be fair to him, he goes on to say to redo all the infrastructure, that's a whole planning process. Right. You might want to engage in some sort of process to make sure we get going. Now, uh, is replacing the pipes the absolutely the right thing to do? I'm not saying that either. It costs $1.5 billion. So... They wanted to save one to two million dollars in the beginning. Well played, well played. It's so stupid. I, what, and by the way, Anna, sorry, I, I thought these Republicans were great businessmen. Governor Snyder was a venture capitalist. Like I know how to get things done, save money. You see, see you save one or two million dollars, and it costs you one and a half billion dollars. <laughs> what happened? So there are two things at play. Not only are these lead pipes problematic, but the water itself is corrosive. So the combination of the two is leading to this problem. But we live in the wealthiest country in the world and also the most productive country in the world. And we now have a state that's suffering from no drinking water. What, like, what's going on in this country? I don't care if it costs more than $1 billion. This should be considered a state of emergency. And if the federal government needs to step in and take care of this, they should step in and take care of this. Yeah, but look, there's got to be consequences for the people who did it. Of course. And so they do this all the time, and then they tell us we don't have money. They, as I've told you before, Rick Snyder gives away $1.7 billion in tax cuts to corporations inside Michigan every single year. Now he says, oh, I don't have the $1.5 billion for the pipes. Well, if you stop giving away $1.7 billion every single year in corporate tax cuts, well, then you might have it, right? right? So... But to me, one of the most grating parts of this story uh, is that they didn't trust people. And that's what drives me crazy. When you, the establishment, in this case, Republican governor, the government overall, people say, no, no, no the water's orange. The water's, it's, and we're, no, our kids are sick, we're nauseous, we're dizzy, we're having a, nah, no. What would people know? The elites know. No, no. We know. You, you don't know. You know. We'll study it for a year while your kids are drinking poisonous orange water but no you people don't know anything but it, it's it's emblematic it's only a symbol but it's what we feel throughout the country so when people say hey you know um we've got these issues our wages are stagnant yeah no the economy's sound the stock market's doing great in other words i'm rich i have a lot of my money in the stock market i'm getting i'm in better and better shape so when you tell me you have stagnant wages nah, i don't it's your problem, not my problem. I don't even believe you, right? The mainstream media constantly with like, no, it's fine. What, uh, what are people complaining about? Why all these it's, radicals like Bernie Sanders running around? 